Benny and June, Sandhill Cranes, Grus Canadensis. You can hear them from the parking lot, you can hear them from the cougars exhibit, you can hear them just about anywhere in the zoo. Benny and June are our resident Sandhill Cranes. They are found as far north as the Arctic coast of Canada and even parts of northeastern Siberia, mostly west of the Mississippi and as far south as Florida and Cuba. They get their name from the stop they make in the Nebraskan sand hills during migration, with over 450,000 of them flying through at one time. They have a red patch on their head that gets darker as they age. Also, their unique and distinct call is what allows them to stand out from the other types of cranes. Did you know there is a 2.5 million year old sandhill crane fossil that has been found in Nebraska? It is one and a half times older than any other living species of bird remains ever found. Benny and June were part of a whooping crane breeding program earlier in their lives. Bird experts from Audubon trying to increase the population size of whooping cranes were trying to take advantage of the whooping crane's two egg, one hatchling habit. They took the extra eggs from whoopers' nests and placed them in the nests of sandhill cranes. The program appeared to work. The foster chicks were accepted and raised by sandhill hens. Unfortunately, these foster whoopers learned to be sandhill cranes, not whooping cranes. As adults, they wouldn't breed with their own kind. When the sandhill foster program was disassembled, Benny and June needed somewhere to retire to. This is when they came to Plumpton Park Zoo. Sandhill cranes are omnivorous birds that feed on land or in shallow marshes with vegetation. They will eat grains, berries, small mammals, fish, insects, snails, reptiles, and amphibians. Benny and June love to eat fish and vegetables as well as their special crane diet. <laughs> 